Hello and welcome to For You. I'm feeling particularly British today, Elsie.、Oh. Do you know why? Hmm. I think you might want a cup of tea now, huh? I do want a cup of tea. I love drinking tea. You do? Of course. And that's something that British people have in common with Taiwanese people, right? We love milk tea. Right. And Taiwanese people love drinking tea too. Yeah. Normal tea. The、mm. main difference, I think, is that Taiwanese milk tea is usually served cold and very, very sweet. Whereas in the UK, when we drink tea, it's usually hot. And with a tiny splash of milk, and usually, at least to my preference, no sugar. Oh, no sugar. Hmm. Hmm. I like tea without sugar. Yeah, it's. I think without the sugar, you can really get the flavor of the the tea leaves. Yeah, and you can always drink tea with some snacks too. Exactly. Right. Well, that's what we're talking about today. I consider myself an expert on the subject of today's、cool. article: the Great British Tradition. Of afternoon tea. I'm from the UK, so I'm very familiar with these traditions, and you've probably heard of them before. But do you know the specifics? You know, the UK or Britain is a very, very old country, so we have many, many traditions, including afternoon tea. Have you been to the UK, Elsie? No, not yet. Wow, you should definitely visit. It's I should. It's a really cool place, and、mm. the people are very friendly, although. Very direct sometimes. Yeah, you know, British people can be very sarcastic too. So、mm. don't always take what they say too seriously. <laughs> okay, and I know you guys have a lot of different kinds of tea, right?、Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, we do. We have well, we love tea bags, you know. So we grind up usually black tea、uh, and and crush it into a dry uh, uh, kind of powder and、mm-hmm. stuff it into bags. And you pop those into your cups, and then you have the beautiful. British tea. Nice. Oh, I'm getting thirsty. Let's get into the article. Reading. The Great British Tradition of Afternoon Tea. Britons love their tea, and I'm no exception. Relax as I share with you the history, elements, and etiquette. Of one of Britain's favourite activities, afternoon tea. Afternoon tea first appeared in 1840, when it was introduced by Anna, the Duchess of Bedford. Dinner used to be served at around 8 p.m., but the Duchess would get hungry before then. Because of this, she started asking for tea and light snacks to be served mid-afternoon. She soon began inviting friends to join her, and so the occasion of afternoon tea soon became fashionable. Afternoon tea can also be called low tea. This is because it's served on a low coffee table. On the table are also placed some light snacks such as cakes, sandwiches, and scones. High tea, however. Is a meal that's served as a dinner on a large dining table. High tea was traditionally more for working-class people. In many parts of the UK, dinner is actually called tea, and lunch is called dinner. The article begins with Britons love their tea, and I'm no exception. It's true. I love tea. So the article used the word Britain here, B R I T O N. A Briton is basically a word for a British person, a person from the UK. The article also used the word exception. Exception is a noun, and an exception is a person or a thing that is excluded from a general statement or does not follow a rule. So. A thing that is an exception is a thing that is different from everything else, or different from the way that you would expect it to be. Exception 这个名词啊，代表例外、除外。所以当你看到主词出来之后，加上 be 动词，再加上 no exception， 那就是某人、某物也不例外。
所以课文这边说啊，英国人爱下午茶 ，and I'm no exception， 我也不例外，我也是如此。那我们看到的名词 Britain 代表的是英国人，那如果你看到的是 British， 那就会是英国的。所以呀、啊，我们今天要学的是英国人教你下午茶要怎么喝。The Great British Tradition of Afternoon Tea. Well, let's get into it. Relax as I share with you the history, elements, and etiquette of one of Britain's favorite activities, afternoon tea. Okay. Well, before we learn about these traditions, let's talk about the word relax. Relax is a verb, and to relax means to become less anxious or worried or stressed. To relax means to ah forget about your worries, let your body and your mind rest, and just feel good. If someone tells you to relax, it could be because they want you to rest and have some free time, or it could be because you look stressed and they just want you to chill. Here's an example sentence. I'm so tired from work. I just want to relax on the sofa this evening. Okay, so after a long day at work, I just want to relax on the sofa too, right?、Mm -hmm. Relax 这个动词呢，代表放松、休息。We can ask somebody to relax. We can tell someone, "Oh, you relax a little bit," or "chill," or "chill out." Also, can. Yeah, chill out. If somebody looks panicked or stressed, you can tell them, "Oh, you need to chill out." Yeah, chill out. If somebody looks panicked or stressed, you can tell them, "Oh, you need to chill out." Yeah, chill out. If somebody looks panicked or stressed, you can tell them, "Oh, you need to chill out." Yeah, chill out. If somebody looks panicked or stressed, you can tell them, "Oh, you need to chill out." Yeah, chill out. If somebody looks panicked or stressed, you can tell them, "Oh, you need to chill out." Yeah, chill out. If somebody looks panicked or stressed, you can tell them, "Oh, you need to chill out." Yeah, chill out. If somebody looks panicked or stressed, you can tell them, "Oh, you need to chill out." Yeah, chill out. If somebody looks panicked or stressed, you can tell them, "Oh, you need to chill out." Yeah, chill out. If somebody looks panicked or stressed, you can tell them, "Oh, you need to chill out." Yeah, chill out. If somebody looks panicked or stressed, you can tell them, "Oh, you need to chill out." An element of something, or the elements of something, are the important parts of a thing that make that thing that thing. So the elements of tea would be leaves, water, the drying process, and the tea making process, among other things. So one process can have many parts or many elements. Here's an example sentence: There are many important elements to this project. So we should divide the work up between us. Element 这个名词呢，代表要素。那有一些可以搭配的形容词，你可以把它放在 element 的前方。像是呢，当我们要表达重要的或是不可或缺的元素的时候，我们可以说 an important element， 或者是 an essential element， 或者是 a vital element， 也是可以的。那再来呢，还有一个字是 etiquette。Etiquette is a wonderful word. Etiquette is a noun, and officially, etiquette is the customary code of polite behavior in society or among members of a particular profession or group. Ugh, what does that mean? Well, etiquette is the way people expect other people to act or behave. So, etiquette is not rules or laws. You do not legally have to do something this way, but people expect you to do it this way. And if you don't, people maybe won't want to spend time with you. So those kind of unofficial rules are called etiquette. An example could be, you know, holding a door open for somebody. It's polite and it's good etiquette. Etiquette 这个名词呢，代表行为礼仪规范。那它不是法律上的哦，它是社会上不成文的规定。像是很多的 weddings 婚礼啦，或是 funerals 葬礼上面都有很多这些行为礼仪规范。Like you don't wear red clothes to funerals, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got to wear black. Right. 那再来呢？课文这边还用到 as 解释为当点点点的时候，或是随着。那作者要我们放松，来听他跟我们分享英国人最喜欢的活动之一就是午茶活动。So etiquette is kind of related to culture and、mm. tradition. You know, etiquette will be different in different、uh, cultures? countries, cultures, or it could even be particular to some families or or smaller groups of people. So, for example, in Taipei, if you're on the metro or on the bus, it is good etiquette. Not to answer your phone, right, and talk loudly. Whereas in the UK, on the bus or on the tube, nobody cares if you answer your phone and talk.、Oh, really, it's pretty normal there.、Mm. So that's an example of how etiquette can be different. Well, back to the article and something about the history of afternoon tea. 
Afternoon tea first appeared in 1840 when it was introduced by Anna, the Duchess of Bedford. Wow, she sounds like an important person. Let's talk about the word introduce. Introduce is a verb, and to introduce something means to make someone or something known to the public for the first time. If you introduce a friend to another friend, you're letting them meet them for the first time. If you are a company that makes candy and you make a brand new candy, you introduce it to the world by making it and selling it in stores. The most important thing about introducing something is that that's the first time that it's being introduced or released. Here's an example sentence: Nintendo will introduce their new video game at an event next month. Introduce 这个动词呢，在这边的解释为采用或是推行，所以呢，例句当中说的 introduce their new video game， 那就是推行他们的新电玩游戏。那另外呢 ，introduce 还可以是介绍的意思，像是当你到了一间新公司 new company， 或是到了一个新班级，可能那边的人会请你 introduce yourself， 就是要介绍你自己。那课文这边说，午茶是在一八四零年出现的。由 Anna， 也就是 the Duchess of Bedford 所引进的 Duchess 指的是公爵夫人，好，这是她的头衔。那这里的 Duchess of Bedford 指的是贝德福德公爵夫人。Right, so Bed Bedford is a place in the UK,、mm. and if you're a duke or a duchess, which are important titles for people, then that means you're kind of like an important leader in that area. Usually, to be a duke or a duchess, you have to be very rich and born. Into an important family, although I think they're becoming less and less common nowadays.、Mm-hmm. Well, back to the article. Dinner used to be served at around 8 p.m., but the Duchess would get hungry before then. The article used the word "serve" here, which is a verb. To serve means to present or to give food or drink to somebody. If you go to a restaurant, you will be served. That means somebody will come and give you your food and your drink. A person who serves food is called a server. Here's an example sentence: I was served a dish with meat inside, even though I told the server I was a vegetarian. Serve 这个动词呢，在这边当做的是提供食物或饮料，所以 Rees 提到的 server， 那就是我们说的 waiter or waitress， 也就是服务生的意思。那课文说到啊，以前晚餐是在八点左右被端上桌，但是公爵夫人在那之前肚子就饿了。Yep. When do you have dinner? When do I have dinner? I usually have dinner pretty late as well, maybe、oh. like seven or eight p.m. Seven or eight? That's、yeah. pretty late. Well, back to the article, and it says because of this, she started asking for tea and light snacks to be served mid-afternoon. So the article used the word mid-afternoon. We probably know what afternoon is. Afternoon is the time after midday, which is kind of twelve o'clock, but before kind of six p.m., where it becomes evening. But mid-afternoon is an even smaller part of the day, which is the middle of the afternoon. It's usually around two to four p.m. 那因为夫人呢，在晚餐前就会饿，所以她开始要求在大概两点到四点的时候，她要吃轻食、点心和茶。那这边的 light 指的是餐食少量的哈，所以呢 ，light snack 就可以解释为轻食小点。Well, the article tells us more. She soon began inviting friends to join her, and so the occasion of afternoon tea. Soon became fashionable. The article used the word occasion here. An occasion is a particular event or the time at which an event takes place. Any event can be an occasion, but it's something that's planned and that people know is going to happen. The word occasion has a mostly positive feeling, so an occasion is often something like a birthday, a dinner party, or a wedding, etc. Here's an example sentence: Russia was banned from joining the previous occasion of the Olympic Games. Occasion 这个名词呢，代表特殊的场合，所以呢，在一个特殊的场合上，我们可以说 on a special occasion。那如果是正式的场合呢，我们可以用 formal 这个字来形容。So the occasion of afternoon tea became fashionable.、Mm. So fashionable was used. 
Fashionable is an adjective, and fashionable means characteristic of, influenced by, or representing a current popular style. Ooh, what does that mean? Well, if something is described as fashionable, that thing or person is popular right now, and it's cool to be that person or to be wearing that thing or to be doing that activity. Fashionable clothes are clothes that people think look good now. TikTok is fashionable right now because many people like to use it. Although what is fashionable often changes because fashions change, especially between decades. Well, here's an example sentence: When my mum was younger, jean jackets were very fashionable. Nowadays, people seldom wear them. Fashionable 这个形容词呢，代表流行的、时髦的。所以，当你要形容东西流行、时髦的时候，记得你要用的是形容词哦 ，fashionable， 而不是 fashion， 因为 fashion 这个字它是一个名词，代表流行的事物。所以呢 ，fashions change every year。刚刚 Risa 说到的，代表流行的事物每年都会改变。So back to the article， 因为公爵夫人开始邀请朋友，午茶场合就变得 fashionable， 流行了。Yep, it continues with afternoon tea can also be called low tea. This is because it's served on a low coffee table. On the table are also placed some light snacks such as cakes, sandwiches, and scones. Oh, I'm so hungry. Me too. 那午茶呢也可以被叫做 low tea， 因为午茶总是会出现在比较。低的咖啡桌上面。那再来呢？我们要看到的是今天的 language in focus， 也就是要介绍地方副词的倒装句。那一般的英文句子呢，它的句构是主词加上动词，再加上地方副词或是地方副词片语。那当我们将地方副词或片语置于句首的时候，我们就是在做倒装的动作，可以强调地点的描述，那是比较正式的用法，会让这整个句子呢更有文学性。那倒装的时候啊，句中的主词跟动词的位置必须要互换。那倒装句的句型呢，就是地方副词或是地方副词偏语在句首，加上 be 动词之后，再加上主词。那不用 be 动词没有关系，你也可以用一般动词。所以呢，课文说到啊，桌上也会摆放一些像是蛋糕、三明治和司康等等的轻食。那再来给同学们一个例句哦 ：A painting of a beautiful mountain hangs on the wall。好，这个是原句未倒装之前的。那再说的是有一幅绘有美丽山脉的画挂在墙上。倒装之后可以怎么说呢？倒装之后啊，我们可以说 on the wall。Hands a painting of a beautiful mountain. 注意哦，写成倒装句的时候，动词的单复数变化仍然需与主词一致。那另外呢，课文当中我们还看到了 such as， 代表是比如。当你要举例的时候，你需要用到它。那前面必须要有逗号。Wow, Elsie, how 辛苦。好辛苦啊。Take a break. <laughs> Have some afternoon tea and some、okay. scones or some scones. Sounds good. Let's talk about this word scone or scone. How you pronounce this word probably depends on where you come from in the UK. There is a big debate whether it's pronounced scone or scone. You can say whichever you like. A scone, which is what I would say, is a small cake or biscuit type of food made with flour, fat, and milk. A scone is often covered in cream. And strawberry jam scones are famously British, and they are delicious. Hmm, scone 或是 scone， 好，两种发音都可以，那就是中文的司康。它是一种圆形状的小麦制品，口感介于面包与蛋糕之间，内藏含有果干。嗯、mm, ，Yum. Do you know how to make scones? I remember making scones when I was in high school in cooking class, but I've probably forgotten. But I don't think they're very hard to make. I、mm. think they're they're pretty simple. Well, the article continues. It says high tea, however, as opposed to low tea, is a meal that's served as a dinner on a large dining table. High tea was traditionally more for working class people. Okay, so high tea 那是出现在大型的餐桌上，就像晚餐一样。所以传统上呢 ，high tea 比较是工人阶级在吃的。那我们还看到课文当中的 class 代表是阶级的意思 ，working class 那就是劳工阶级、工人阶级
Now here we have an interesting thing about language and history. The article tells us in many parts of the UK, dinner is actually called tea, and lunch is called dinner. Hmm. 在英国许多不同的地方，晚餐被叫做 tea， 午餐则被叫做 dinner. This is so confusing. Would you tell us more about this, Reese? It is a bit confusing.、Uh, let me explain. So basically, if you're from a working class family, you know, maybe your family doesn't have as much money、uh, like my family. You know, when I grew up, my dad worked in a factory. My mum、uh, worked in restaurants, or she or she worked as a carer. So we didn't have a lot of money, but we weren't poor. But we were working class. You know,、um, we would often call dinner. Tea, and I think it comes from this history of high tea. So I would say I wouldn't say, "Hey, mum, what's for dinner?" I would say, "Hey, mum, what's for tea?" What I'm actually talking about is the meal that we have at the end of the day. And yeah, sometimes we call lunch dinner, particularly on Sundays. We have a Sunday roast dinner, which we actually eat at about one p.m. Very confusing, but if you're from the UK, you can kind of tell a little bit about somebody's family background from the words that they choose to use. Very interesting and definitely、hmm. worth learning about. Right. So, because family background differs, so there are different ways of calling the dinner name. Yeah,、hmm. super interesting. Well, that's the end of day one article about afternoon tea. Let's look at our for you chat question. You chat. Hey, Elsie, have you ever tried afternoon tea? What was it like? Yes, I have, and it was nice and very relaxing.、Mm-hmm. And I had it with a lot of snacks, like snacks. Yeah, I like、sandwiches. it because it's good. Scones. Scones. Did you have sandwiches? Yes. Yeah. And chocolate cake. Ooh. Ooh. Sounds really good. Afternoon tea, you know, when when you when you break it down, it's just tea and snacks.、Mm. You know, it's nothing too、uh, fancy, uh, spectacular.、Mm. It's kind of more the feeling of it, right? Right. It's served on like beautiful trays. Yeah. Usually in nice nice restaurants, and if it's if it's nice outside, you can sit in the sun and enjoy your tea. It, it makes you feel a bit like a fancy lord or lady from the 18th century. Right. Yeah. It feels really nice.、Uh, I think there are some places in Taipei where you can get afternoon tea. You could probably do a quick Google search for that. If you have the time, I recommend you try it. Well, that's all we have for now. We'll be back tomorrow for more about the tradition of afternoon tea. Take care. Bye. Vocabulary review. Relax. Patricia lay down on the sofa to relax after a hard day at work. Element, luck is a big element in this card game. If you get bad cards, it's hard to win. Introduce, potatoes were introduced to Europe in the 16th century by sailors who returned from South America. Serve, most restaurants stop serving food half an hour before they close. Occasion. Wally and George's wedding was a happy occasion for both of their families. Fashionable. This clothing shop is popular because it always sells the most fashionable clothes. 智慧小补帖 Exception. Etiquette. Scone. Scone.以上节目是由活用空中美语制作，活用空中美语杂志，请洽询全国各大书店。如遇索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。